Hello, this tutorial will teach you how to create a basic web form using Drupal. In order for you to create the web form, you must first have the web form module enabled under site building. And once you've enabled that, go to content management, create content, and then go to web form. On this page, you should be able to fill out the basic uh, settings for your web form, such as the title of your web form. and additional uh, information or instructions for people filling out the web form. And this is the confirmation message that your users will be uh, receiving once they hit submit uh, on the form. You can um, do formatting and uh, even add pictures or further instructions in this portion of the confirmation message. Uh, if you want your web form to be only accessed by um, people uh, that are using their CSNet ID, if you want a private private survey, this is where you would disable the anonymous user, which is anyone that visits your website and leave it as authenticated user. Uh, people with CSNet ID will be the only people that will be able to uh, log in and fill out the form. And for this example, we're just going to leave it as anonymous user, which means that anyone can access the website. Now, this is the email that you would be um, people would be uh, sending the survey to you. Uh, w one thing to note is that um, every submission that's made to your uh, web form is saved on this Drupal site, and I'll show you how to uh, get access to that submission and be able to manipulate the data, find specific information on how many people uh, filled certain fields and how much time was spent and, and so forth. So for this example, I'm just going to put a web team email. Um, in your email form, you can, uh, the people, the email that uh, the people will be receiving, uh, you can either leave it as saying default from webmasters or your department site, or you can just put a um, uh, custom message here. Or once you've created the components of your uh, web, web form, you can go ahead and specify a component like, for example, the first name. Uh, or um, last name and uh, so forth. Now, um, email for, from address, uh, you can just leave it as default or you can also once again create a custom or place a component. Uh, for this one, um, email subject, this is, uh, this is the, that's going to appear on the email subject uh, portion of the email. So I'm just going to say and there's additional advanced settings here. Uh, you can limit the number of people that um, can access uh, uh, the form or submit form during a certain period of time. Um, you can also customize the submit button. Instead of saying submit, you can place uh, any custom message. And you can also, uh, for those advanced users, you can place additional um, validation or processing here using PHP. Um, another key thing is um, I want to place a URL here so that it's easy for users to, to access the, the, the web form. And another thing is if I'm not ready to publish the, the web form here yet and or have people access it, um, I can just uh, leave the, unpub the published uh, portion disabled. But if I wanted to make, make it available right away, I can go ahead and put published. Now you're ready to create the components of your web form. The first thing that I want to create is first name. And I can go leave it as a text field. This is just a basic web form. You can control uh, def you can control the width and have other um, configurations for that specific field. But I'm just going to go with the default. You can also clone uh, a certain field. So I'm just going to clone the first name instead of first name. I'm going to have it say last name and submit. And I need to change that to last name as well, the key, and hit submit. And I'm going to create a text area instead of the, um, the text field. I can have uh, multiple different types of fields that I can create, but for, for now, I'm, I'm just going to create text area, and I'm going to make this mandatory. Um, uh, all of these uh, com uh, form elements are going to be um, emailed. And I want this mandatory. I'm just going to click Add. And I'm just going to go with the default. Um, one thing 
to remember is if you want additional information, uh, you know, instructions for a spe specific field, um, you can place it here, and people will be able to see that instruction right next to the for uh, form element that you've created. And I'm just going to place one last um, field here, and be able to have people upload files. So I'm going to make that also mandatory, add. And I can go here and specify what specific file formats people can uh, submit to the form. I'm just going to do uh, document, Word document, and PDF. Uh, you can specify maximum file size. Uh, you can specify the directory that you want this to be so that you can organize uh, your, 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 your submission uh, files at a certain folder and once you're done hit submit now we pretty much created the 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 fields for the form um, and then you want to hit submit and you're going to take a look at and view the form so this is the form that we've created I'm just going to fill it out and I'm going to add a file right here and I'm just going to find a, a PDF and I'm going to submit. Okay, and that's the auto reply that I'm going to get. I'm going to go back to the form, and I'm going to look at the results. And this is the first submission that I've made, and I can analyze um, different information like uh, for the components, uh, what was left blank, uh, you know, average submission length for the text area, and so forth. I can download the uh, submissions in Microsoft Excel, or I can take a look at it in the table, and uh, I can look at the, the 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 file that was submitted and all this information. So this is a really cool uh, uh, tool. Hope this will help you create a a, a web uh, form for your department. Thanks.